Hello stylers and welcome back to the Full Style Inc. channel for another video. My name is Nadia and I am the founder and creator of Full Style Inc. It's been a while. It's been a while. But we are here. So today's video is another style analysis of the plus size queens of RuPaul Drag Race. And today's contestant is Denny Beard of RuPaul Drag Race UK. I absolutely love um this drag queen. I love their drag. I love what they're doing with the gender bending. And I was really excited to actually sit down and have time. Actually sit down and get into the nitty gritty of their looks, of their fashion. Um, on the season four of RuPaul Drag Race UK. They're actually the reason why I originally thought of this concept of this thing because of how much they incorporated their non-binary gender fluidness who they are into their fashion into their drag and so it just it makes me so very excited um it makes me so very excited I'm really really like let, let's just get into it okay so I have gone ahead and created i've changed the layout and format format of how i want to film record these type of videos i have changed how i want to um record these type of videos and the formats and change and so i went ahead and created a tier and gave them certain categories so um it's going to be different from the one that i did uh, last month, two months ago with Candy Muse. This is going to be a little bit more structured. So it's easier for me to edit, easy for you to understand, and easy for it to be digested. Okay, so starting at the top, we have tens across the board. If anybody know, that is a iconic phrase in the ballroom and drag scene when they are in a ball and they're being judged. Tens across the board, meaning all 10 judges, meaning they hit the brief, they hit the category, they knocked it out the park as far as fashion wise and understanding the concept of what they're doing and the references that they're referring to is 10, 10, 10, 10 out of 10. Next category down is what was the, what was the category again? Meaning I love the look. But I don't, I don't think it fits the category, but at this point, I don't care because it's an awesome look. I wouldn't have necessarily paired that look with that category, but it's still a fantastic, great look. So not quite 10 out of 10, not quite 10 across the boards, but still a out of the park, a fantastic look. Next up is where is the fashion? Meaning it's just a look, it's good, but like, where's the fashion? Where's the concept? Where's the... Where's the building? Where is it? And last is our lowest category. And I try to be nice with these categories, but it's just clothes on body. It's honestly, you just put on a garment on your body. There's no storytelling. There's no concept. There's no, there's nothing to it. And that is a main essential when it comes to drag, especially performance drag, is there is a concept there is a story, there is something being told, there is a message, there is something. And there have been drag queens that literally just have something pretty on. You're just here looking pretty, which is fine. But it's RuPaul Drag Race, honey. You you have to do the most. So, okay, so I'm going to get into these categories, get into these looks. I'm going to try to go in order from um, their... First look all the way down to their final look. And the first look for me is the their promo look. This beautiful blue, almost ethereal bodysuit with these black gloves, the black shorts, with this black piping out, and this beautiful almost like collar that comes up as like a mini hood with these feathers. It's so good. And the makeup. Danny Beard is known for their clownish makeup and not so much clownish, but they love a white face. <laughs> they love a white clown makeup face, but it's a clown makeup face that is beat to the gods. Like 
the contouring, the structure, the blending, the, 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 the dimension, the texture, the layer that they're building is so, so good. It's not just a standard everyday clown makeup. And they also love to play again with that gender conformity, gender fuckery, as they like to say, with the beard. Danny wears an, a beard, a little stubble, and every now and then it's like to pop on a mustache or two. So this look personifies that. This look reminds me of, there's a character from an old sci-fi show that I see when I see this look and I cannot remember it for the life of me right now. Me and my sister was talking about it when we was watching this together and I cannot remember for the life of me right now, but that is the reference for this. I don't know the history or the reference behind this, but this is so good. I love this look. So for me, knocking out the part with a promo before we even get to see them walk a category of one way, I'm... I'm going to put this at what the category was again, because there was no category. <laughs> this was their drag. This is what they chose to do. So I'm just going to put this at what was the category again, because it doesn't matter at this point. Moving on is their interest look. Their interest look again, the clown makeup off the back is this all black textured, jacket peplum jacket leather jacket with a leather skirt and these cute little um lacy tights and these these heel these heel booties that oh my ankles hurt just looking at them but i love all of the detail and definition that goes into this look i would say and it has a lot of technical design aspects to it it is a good solid look um i i would even say it is a good safe look for danny beard and what they would come to do in the competition and you will see what i mean in a moment it is a good safe look it's an introduction it's a teaser it's hi i'm here um this is me um, the more focus is on the face. And I think Danny even mentions that, that this looks, this look highlights the face. Um, or is it another look that they're referring, referring to? I can't remember, but this is not one of my favorite looks. It's a, it's, it's not one of my favorite looks. I was more in awe with Danny, the person when they walked in, like, oh my God, this queen has clown makeup on. And it is good comedy. I'm living for it. So I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this in clothes on the body. I'm going to put it in clothes on the body. I have to. I have to. And now I'm going to tell you. There are not many looks that's going to be in this category. Because Denny does not miss at all. So really excited about that. Um, next up they have their first one way. And they have two runways. And if. Oh yeah, the first first challenge, like that first week, that first that first week, the first episode, they have two runways, and the first one is a BBC Keep It One Hundred, the hundred years of selling of celebrating the the B E T the B B C channel. I want to say B E T, and they could choose any aspect of the B B C channel, um, over their lifetime, what they remember to personify, to capture, to portray on the runway. Now, I'm not familiar with the BBC like that. I'm familiar. I'm familiar, um, but not to the point of how they're familiar with it. Um, I know some of the shows that they were referencing and some of the things they were referencing, stuff that I've seen growing up and then stuff that I discovered later. But this one, this blobby look, I don't know what this look is, but this is terrifying. This is, the, the look is terrifying. The, the look is terrifying. And the actual concept, the, the actual character that it's based off of is terrifying. They were showing it to kids. I thought Teletubbies was a little scary. There are some kids who are scared of Bernie. 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 Y'all know I'm trying to say Bernie. They can't see it. 
Bernie. Oh my God. Anywho, this thing is terrifying. I don't even know where to put this. I literally don't know where to put this. It's not a low rank because I guess it's good, but because I don't feel no personal connection to it, I don't know where to put it. Um, I'm going to say her. I'm gonna, uh, I am i do not want to put her in tens across the boards. Uh, I'm going to put it in what the category was again because I am thoroughly confused. Honestly, I'm so... Nah, where's the fashion? Where's the fashion? That's tough. Because that look is wild. That look is wild. Mm. I may be changing this later. I may be changing this later. Okay, look, going on. The next look is your signature drag. And Danny comes out in this Illumina illuminated chrome dress with these cute little knee high tights with this cute little pillbox hat and serving again clown face and i'm living for it it's cute it's um it's a body it's giving what it needs to give um i believe this is where they refer to like this look is all about serving face and that's what i'm gonna do and so for me it's not really hitting at the park as far as look as far as fashion so i'm gonna put it in Hmm. What was the category again? Duke. Duke. Right, they say they say signature drag, but mm, I feel like Danny shows more continuity over time of what their signature drag is. So I want to put it in that. I don't know. That's a tough one. I'm going to put it in. What was the category again? Okay, so moving on. Now, this is where I fall apart because I do not remember the order of uh, episodes. But I know which one is like the final episode. Um, I'm trying to remember. They did have a design challenge. And I can't remember which look that design challenge was. Oh, it was this one. Okay, so this look is a design challenge. And I believe it's a group also design challenge as well. And I believe they was paired with Polite Pixie. Pixie Polite. I can be so wrong about this. And if I am, I will explain myself here on the screen. So, this look is a cute little bodycon, little uh, mini dress, and this eggplant purpley with long sleeves, black tights, again, starting her face, like chain, and they're walking as if they're out in the town doing what they need to do. I don't like this look. I really don't like this look. This is, for me, one of the lower looks. I would even rank this lower than, than their entry look. The entry look was good. It was just safe. It was just safe. It was basic. This look is worse than that. So, it's worse. It's worse than that. Um, And not worse as in bad. It's just, I believe this was a design challenge. And I know Danny kind of struggled with the sewing aspect. So, that's, that's something being said. So, this other look. I'm pulling out because this this is like last and I don't want to go. I don't want to do the last one. I want the last one to be last. So moving on is this one and this one is called Tickle Pink. Tickle Me Pink? Tickle Me Pink. And it is the category is Tickle Me Pink. It is an all pink look. I love this look. This is, this is one. This is one of my favorite looks from Danny Beard. I love the pinkle. The pinkle. The pink suit. The dramatic cuff on the sleeves, the cinched waist, even the pink little hair that's giving like fifth element little vibes, and the pink little handlebar mustache. It's just so mischievous and so funky. I absolutely love it. It for me is tens across the board. Um, it's good. It's good. Danny loves a pencil skirt. 
Daddy loves like a peplum and a pencil, pencil skirt. I'm noticing. Like they love a pencil skirt. And honestly, I'm here for it. It's, a pencil skirt is very flattering to um, a very hourglass curvy body type. And Danny has that curvy body type. Now, moving on to this look, I do not remember the category. So, pause while I go find out what that category was. So, the next category is the main event, which was, I believe, a performance. Um, they was the main part of the show. This is a, another cute little top and skirt. Actually, I think this is a full dress. I could be wrong. Pencil skirt fitted to the body, but the main part of this look is the feather dramatic sleeves and the big red hair. This is a look. I don't know if it's a reference to something. I can't remember. I probably should have rewatched that episode. But this is a reference to something. It is fun. It is it is big, it is bold, it is loud, it is dramatic, and I'm here for it. I'm going to put this in. What was the category again? Because, oh. I'm going to put it in. What was the category again? Because honestly, I don't know how this fit into the category. And that's a me thing, but it's still a very, very good look. Okay, so moving on. Next category is um, neon lights or neon something. What is it? Yeah. Neon Nights look. This is so cute. This is so playful. This is so fun. This is so futuristic. This is so anime, a little sci-fi with this neon, bright neon dress that has like this different paneling of these different translucent, translucent panels of neon, a darker, a brighter neon, like almost yellowy green neon and then like a green lime neon and then like the black it's very form fitting to the body the panels go and curve along with the body and then we have these bright neon tights the wig the face is serving and then they came out carrying like a bubble machine so it's giving very party very um go-go dancer vibe it's so it's really cute so i'm gonna put this in Tens across the board. It was so cute. It was so cute. It was so playful. It was so simple. They didn't have to be a big storyline to it. They didn't have to be like it was. It, it was a really really good look. And it's and it's and it told the story. Like it told a story. They didn't have to be an explaining of the story. It told the story itself. And that's what I love about the essence of fashion. This essence of drag queen fashion, especially performance drag, is that the look is going to tell the story itself. You don't need to tell the story. The look is going to tell the story. Yes, West End Wonders. And West End Wonders, I believe, is referring to their Broadway. <laughs> but, anywho, this look, the Little Shop of Horror looks, as soon as I synced it, I gasped. Ah, oh, this is one of my favorite looks. This is, one of, this is one, I have top three looks. This is... This is, this is number two, okay? The little pink look and then this look are fighting for second, third place. Um, This look is so good. This is so, 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 so good. Um, This is fun. This is, this, this is gag. This is drag. It is so good. It is this. Basically, the um, man-eating praying mantis from Little Shop of Horrors, Feed Me Seymour type of vibe. And this taller, bigger than life, um, body dress suits with the head on top and the arms and the little pots. And, oh my God, it's so good. I, I trying to describe it, it does nothing for it because you just have to look at the images in the video that I'm providing because it is so good. Tens across the board. It's like I think I think Danny won that week because that. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, this is drag 
family realness. This is when they have the makeover makeover challenge was one of my favorite challenges on RuPaul where they have special guests, sometimes super fans, sometimes their family members, sometimes part of the crew come in and they are assigned. Each queen is assigned a person and they get to know a little about them and they get to make them over and give them part of, you know, let them into their drag family. So they get a name change, everything is part of the essence. And this season of RuPaul UK, they got to make over their drag um, moms, like not drag moms, the drag, I think it's a queen team, which is the staff of women that are assigned to the queens to help them with anything that they need, making sure they eat, help them if they need help with their wardrobe, their clothing, just there to check on them. And this was something I was unaware of that they had on RuPaul until the UK version, until they had to make them over. I don't believe they ever mentioned this in the America version or in the Canada version. So this was so touching. These women are like big sisters and moms to these queens and they're really there to check on them. So they felt the queens, the, the, the women themselves felt connected and passionate about it and close to them. And so they were so cute. And the transformation that Danny had on, I can't remember her name. I believe it. It's so cute. This is a family resemblance and I absolutely love this look. This is a great look again. Um, Danny has an eye for color. I love how much Danny plays with color. Um, the little bob, little mob wig, the 1960 mob look with the cute little mini dresses and the collars and all the fur, accent the details and the makeup. It is so good. I remember from this episode that the lady was very averse to a mustache like a beard or a mustache because this individual identified as more masculine and they didn't want the must the beard to I guess was triggered by having a beard or what what I can't remember the specific details but they was very averse to it and Danny was trying to convince them like you need to have the wig on queen like you have to wear the wig you have you have to wear the mustache you need to wear the mustache and so I guess after a while the the she you know relented and trusted Danny with the full process of the look and came out and it was a stunner it was a hit and they mentioned that on the runway and it was a very good episode. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. All the queens, I believe all the, hmm, no, I just remember all the queens did not do a good job. The person who got eliminated that week, who I will be mentioning in further later episodes of this series, did their queen dirty. Oh, not like on purpose. She just made her look older. And she was so cute and little and just so adorable and young look, looking and made him look older. Whew. But anywho, this was a really good look. So this is 10 across the board. Okay, so we're down to our final three looks. And um, honestly, <sighs> I'm so excited. This next look, I'm trying to understand where in the mind when you heard rough, you created this. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So like rough ruffles, gathers, stuff like that. That's when you take the fabric and you ruch it together or you cut it a certain way so that it gathers up and it rough and create this volume and texture to it, to a look. This is so cute. This is giving Kentucky Derby. This is giving, what is the London equivalent of Turkey, of Kentucky Derby? At the races, my fair lady type thing without the black and white, but with the hat, uh, first Sunday, church lady. Like, it's all, it's so good. I believe Danny mentioned how they have never really dealt into much into their masculine side. But for this look, I believe they mentioned that they shaved their beard and they just never felt so elegant and so ladylike. And so, um, just ethereal and so feminine and so pretty. And it just, 
so so good so i'm lying danny did not shave their beard for this i am tripping but this look is so so good i love how again danny knows their silhouette and knows what looks good on them um i love this high collar rough little thing happening here and then it goes down to the rough sides on the hips and ends right at right below the knee with the pencil skirt cuts and then this hat this hat is a hat okay i'm into it this is this is this is 10 10 across the board 10 out of 10 okay 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 moving on my favorite look my favorite look of this entire season no yes uh, yes um is this pre and punk look the category is pretty and punk and i believe that episode had something to do with something mm. but anywho this look right here this vivian westwood alexander mcqueen expired inspired look is very is very london's 80s 90s punk rock scene it's a kick in the teeth to society to gender rules to all of the things that try to hope it, it's such a badass look oh my god it's so good it's so good there's so many details and so much stuff happening it's um uh, it has the plaid um, look that Vivian Westwood is known for the crusher tree. I even love the gold sash that comes across the bodice and the boob area with this cake, the shimmering cake with the gold French tassels and this pop of this teal in the cording. And oh my God, the makeup is insane. It's so good. This was a look when I was like, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I need to record a video talking about this stuff because I don't. No one is talking about the fashion that the queens are giving on RuPaul. No one is talking about it in the way that I that I'm talking about it in the way I think it needs to be talked about. Their style analysis on what people wear on red carpets. Their style analysis, style analysis of what people are wearing on um, to uh, award shows, fashion week fashion week a, a style analysis of like collections but no one is talking about style analysis of what the girls are wearing on RuPaul Drag Race and someone needs to talk about it because they are hitting these briefs these categories and knocking them out the park this is so freaking good this is my favorite look I am honestly I wouldn't even know where to begin to regret this I wouldn't even know where to start like is it a bodysuit is it a pants and a top is a corset the 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 house tooth um corset is that like the tweed plaid corset suit is that a part of the top or is it attached to it but it's so good it's so good it's so good it's 10 out of 10 it needs to be in the category by itself it needs to be the category by itself because it's so damn good oh my god okay I went on a whole tangent because that look is a look. And then the back of the look, the back of the look has this, this cape with all these patches and this punk rock accents. And again, it reminds me of the jackets, the leather and denim jackets that the punk rock club king, like the punk rock kids used to wear in the 80s and the 90s where they were just like patchworking and like assembling and customizing their own looks and their own fashions and it's just and it's just as f gender across it again that is Danny's vibe okay so this last look this last look is their reveal look um UK doesn't get a reunion nor do they get a miscongeniality, which is crazy to me. I don't know what's going on over there. But yes, they don't get a uh, a reunion. So we go right into the finale. And their finale is different than that of America. They don't have like an actual finale look where they walk out and greet it. And then they have a performance. And then they do a lip sync. This is the look of the episode. And this look is so otherworldly wor to me so otherworldly oh my god i don't even know where to begin 
I don't even know. It's so good. I love, first of all, it has this structure of this black, little black velvet dress that has this very deep cut neckline with this black mesh top that flows into these black long sleeves that are attached gloves. So I don't know if the gloves are separate in their opera length and they go all the way up or it's all part of the dress. Again, the dress is form fitting. This one hit a little higher above the knee, above the knee. So it's a little like cute little mini. But the standout part of this dress is these gold, multi gold feathers that come up from a point from the, between the legs, like on the thigh, up around over the breast and out over the shoulders. Oh my God, it's so good. It locks up. It, it's like a black phoenix. I don't even know how to describe it. And then this beautiful gold choker. And then again, the makeup is insane. And the hair, the makeup goes into the hair. That's what a lot of these young, especially these jungle queens, you missing out. Your hair is also part of your look. And also, not even the young, not even queens, a lot of young people don't understand your outfit doesn't stop here. The outfit goes to the hair. The hair also has a vibe. The hair, the hair also needs to tell the story. It also needs to be included in part of your look. It is so good. It's so good. It's so good. I don't know what the category was. I don't know what the category was, but it's a great finale look, a good way to end out uh Danny's run of mastery and just slaying a competition. I'm gonna put this in. I wanna say what was the category because I don't know what the category was, but it's their grand finale look. So I'm just gonna put it in tens across the board because it did so good. It did so so good. So yeah, I'm still conflicted on this blobby look. Cause like where is the fashion? But I understand it's fashion because I believe Danny mentioned something about how it was like club kit, like a club scene, like scene kid or club. No, those are two different things. The scene kid and the club like are two different subgenres. So club kid look, and I'm not familiar with that subgenre of fashion, but I'm also not familiar with the reference point. And it's just it's freaky. I don't know what it is. I I don't. I think I would like it without the without the stuff that's going on the face. Not not their makeup, but the, the little pink fuzzy stuff that's on the face. I would like it without that. So I don't want to I don't want to ding it for that, but again, your outfit don't stop here. Your look doesn't stop. It doesn't go from here down. It So yeah. I'm going to leave that in where's the fashion. <laughs> I don't know where it is. But yes, that is, that is my style analysis of Danny Beard. Um, winner of season four, RuPaul Drag Race UK. What, what a, what a season. What a season. It was really, really some really awesome good looks this season. Um, one look I am very interested in recreating, having my personal spin and take on it. I've already got patterns. Um, I am sourcing fabric and I would love to get that for the fall. So yes, really, really good. I really, really do love this look. Um, my, my favorites, I've, I've ranked them so you know what they are. But my top three is the <laughs> pretty, pretty and punk, pretty and punk, the Vivian Westwood look. Um... The tickle, the tickle pink look. And then the, the drag family realness. But also the rough and ready. <laughs> but those are my favorite. Those are really, really, really good. There was a few other looks that um, Danny gave throughout the season. Some of their challenges some of their challenging challenges look the looks that they wore doing the challenges can't speak and i'm not really going to focus on those because i'm literally only here for the runway looks but for me danny knocked it out the park really sparked and inspired this whole um series for me and i'm really really excited to see 
more of what Danny does. Um, I have not seen Danny's web series yet um, that they got when they won. So I'm interested to see what that about. I am subscribing. I am subscribing to um, what is that called? I am subscribing to uh, Wild Wild Presents, and uh, so I can watch. I, I want. I I need more. I need more Drag Race. I need more. What's going on? I need more. So yes, um, yeah. I need to watch Danny's web series because I'm not gonna be out here and don't have. And I'm obsessed with Danny. Danny Beard is is one of my favorite drag queens. He he has he has. They, sorry, they have come into my life, changed my life for the better, and I'm happy. So, yes, I'm going to go, Stylers. Um, this was fun. I hope you guys had fun. I hope I can get this video down to like 20, 25 minutes. But I go, hope you guys have fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this, um, these, this series. I will continue to do more. I hope you guys are enjoying them, but I am still going to do them because for me, this is feeding my soul and I probably will include more type of, um, style, um, analysis into this series and not just RuPaul Drag Race. I probably would probably do some red carpet, red carpet season, award season is coming up. We're on our way and I would love to talk about more plus size queens. Um, more plus size queens, more plus size girlies and queens rocking the red carpet and walking one ways. Fashion week for the plus size industry was laughable. Um, I, they said it's not trendy no more, so they don't have to try no more. I may talk about that. <laughs> I know a few people I follow have already talked about it, but I may chime in with my thoughts and my opinions on it. So, yes, Dallas, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your last few days of summer and your first few days of fall by the time this video is uploaded. And um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. I am moved in. I am slowly getting settled in. So you will start seeing more and more content. And hopefully I can get into the place where I can give you some some style content, and then some sewing content when I get my space together. Um, yeah, I let you, I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so very much. Remember, you are loved, and you are worthy to be loved. But most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Bye, Stylers. You're so good. I mean, like, like how dare you come out looking like that like my god that is insane oh i want to how do how would i how would i make this i need to know is that a zipper is that a pocket was a chain hanging off on one leg on one side oh my god that is so cool i wouldn't even know where to start i wouldn't even know where to start mm, mm, mm. All right, next, moving on.